bring in our Broncos insert of Troy Rank. Uh, Troy's analysis is sponsored by Comcast Xfinity. So, Troy, this one is extremely disappointing. Not that they lost, but really how it all happened. Yeah, listen, when I talked to Vance Joseph on Thursday, he admitted that we've got to be in position, we've got to handle their speed well, or it is going to be a bad night. And that pretty much is how it played out. Denver's great defense got embarrassed by missed tackles, missed assignments. You're down 21 nothing on the road. You're not beating anybody. And like you said, that Wilson fumble early set the tone. But what was disappointing is the Broncos could not make Jared Goff Jared off. He had four touchdowns. He looked like an all pro tonight. The Broncos had given up four touchdowns, Lionel, in their previous three games. Goff had four touchdowns by early in the third quarter. So again, styles make fights. This is a bad matchup for the Broncos because of the speed of Gibbs, Montgomery, St. Brown, and then obviously the Porta. The Broncos haven't had an answer for a tight end all season. But offensively, there's a concern here. They're not running the ball particularly well, and it showed up again tonight that if the defense does not produce takeaways, the offense can't carry its weight against a good team. Now, again, as you guys said, take a deep breath. They play coming down the stretch here, the Patriots, the Chargers, and Raiders, all three with backup quarterbacks, two with interim coaches. So they have a chance if they win out, they're going to need a little bit of help but this game doesn't cost them the playoffs because it was against an NFC team. But Lionel, let's be real here. They got Detroit Rock City tonight. They've got to play a lot better if they want to be a playoff team. And we'll see what the anger's like. Sean told me, Peyton, the details matter in December. Well, they got to get back to the details and the fundamentals because this was embarrassing. Back to you, Lionel. All right, Troy, let me ask you a quick question here. Um, we couldn't tell what uh, Sean Payton was yelling at Russell Wilson for. He was screaming at him in his face. I guess we'll find out from Sean in a few minutes. But have you heard anything there in Detroit about what Sean Payton was so upset about? Well, there's two inferences in talking to people as I ran down to the field here in post game. One is maybe something was wrong on the cadence that drew K uh, Quinn Miners offside. That was such a weird call. The, at the more likely a solution or logical argument to this is maybe Russell snapped it too soon before they could challenge the play on Javante Williams because frankly Lionel I thought McLaughlin scored and then I thought Javante Williams scored on third down so that might have been it as well that hey you got to give me a chance to challenge it if you go up to the line of scrimmage so we're going to find out here in a little bit as Sean Payton will talk but that's the only thing that made sense I mean he had a lot of reasons to be mad but in that particular context either there was something with a cadence or more likely like he was upset hey you got to the line of scrimmage too soon I needed to challenge that play because I'm pretty sure Javante Williams scored I mean, it wouldn't have mattered in the big picture but again when all little things matter big things happen and tonight every mistake was amplified